Now, my other sleeper pick that I have in this year's draft uh, is the uh, since uh, the Melbourne cessation from Australia. That is Josh Giddy, who played overseas as well this past uh, season. Um, Giddy went on to average uh, 11 points a game, seven assists a game, and about six and a half, seven boards a game as well. Um, I think he would be a a valuable option for the Sacramento Kings at nine because he's flashy. He's flashy, man. Uh, he's got a good handle. Um, he's got a good court vision and IQ. He's got a good overall feel uh, for the basketball game, and he reminds me a lot of like he reminds me a lot of Tyrese Halliburton in the ways because he's tall. He's about six seven, and um, he's skinny as well. And uh, he's just a good all around player, and he has a good feel for the game. And he's long and lengthy as well. So I think um, he reminds me a lot of ways in Tyrese Halliburton, and also. Reminds me a lot of Ricky Rubio as well, and you know what? Let me make that clear because Ricky Rubio was supposed to be a really good prospect coming out of uh, Spain. The injuries and the failure to produce a, an outside consistent jump shot set him back. But I think uh, Josh Giddy has his his outside jump shot. It's a set shot like Ricky Rubio's, and it reminds me a lot of Ricky Rubio, as you guys can see in this clip right here. Just a set Josh jump shot, just like Ricky Rubio's, and his shot um, is it, it, it. It's a work in progress, and I think that over the time, I think it will get better. Uh, but I think his all-around feel for the game uh, makes him a little bit ahead of Ricky Rubio. And considering the fact that he's only 18 years old, I know Ricky Rubio was 18 years old when he came out. But like I said, I think the development, uh, the player development in Minnesota at the time, really did not. Uh, you know, was did not work out for Ricky Rubio's favor, and of course, the nagging injury set him back, and that really didn't pan out as as a player in the league or, uh, or what he was ultimately supposed to become, and that was a franchise uh, point guard. But with Josh Giddy, it's different, man, because he's he's tall, he's got a size advantage um, than most guards coming out of the draft, and I think his all around feel for the game gives him an advantage. And considering the fact that he played overseas, he played with the big boys, he played in the big European league. And I think um, how I see him as a fit with the Sacramento Kings, potentially, I, I see good things. Um, you know, you got to keep in mind, most fun teams, most guards, you got to have three guards that can create their own shots and uh, play make and have the capability to uh, defend. And I think with Sacramento, with uh, Tyrese, uh, De'Aaron, obviously, you got your two guards there. And with Giddy, um, he brings the all-around feel for the game. Uh, defensively, I think they might, they can be uh, pretty damn good with a three guard lineup. Um, as far as getting his own, creating his own shot, he'll continue to get better. I think, in my opinion, I think he will get better at the, creating his own shot. Um, but he plays uh, point guard. Yeah, he'll be going up against a lot of a lot of great uh, you know guards in the NBA, uh, depending on wherever he's picked, whether it's Sacramento or where it's you know somewhere else. Um, as far as getting picked, I do see him being a uh, in somewhere in the first round. Um, there may be a lottery team, one through fourteen, that might be really seeking that guard that they need, and I think that this will be a good pick uh, for that team. Uh, with Sacramento, I mean, you guys saw my last video. I, I raved about Sun Gun, and I think uh, Giddy's just uh, is he's 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 been uh, pretty damn good overall in the European League as well, and. It would be nice. It would be a nice. It would be a good pickup, in my opinion. I think he can definitely do a great job, a fantastic job, running the second uh, unit, or even just running the first unit when you know when Tyrese or De'Aaron Fox are uh, getting rest off and uh, sitting on the bench. Um, I can even see him, you know, coming off the bench, having a great, uh, you know, role of running the unit, running the show with the DeLon Wright, um, considering the fact that the Kings do keep DeLon Wright, and I think this would be a, overall a good pick. Um, he's got some flaws in his game. Obviously, like I said, the jump shot it still needs to be, uh, you know, better. And I think that there's a good chance it will improve because I think that from what I've heard, this kid's got a good work ethic and he works hard. He wants to be good. He wants to continue to get better in areas where he needs to. And I think that his court vision is something you can never have players that have great IQ and court vision. I mean, man, I would love to have another Tyrese Halliburton on my team. I mean, considering the fact that. Tyrese Halliburton's uh, rookie year, the demeanor and the high IQ he showed, um, Josh Giddey can have that same impact. And I think that he, it would be great to have another Tyrese Halliburton on the Sacramento Kings in a Josh Giddey. Um, obviously, there's some, there's some question marks about Tyrese Halliburton's jump shot. 
coming in uh, to the NBA, which he proved everybody wrong, and he proved the 11 teams that passed up on him that the jump shot is okay, it's fine, it's going to get better, and it will continue to get better. Um, it already is good. It was projected to be as bad as what some of these scouts and some of these people were saying, but my point is he proved them wrong with that jump shot question. His jump shot's fine. It goes in. Uh, it may look a little awkward, but that's fine. As long as it goes in, that's all that matters. And I think with Josh Giddy, uh, his jump shot will definitely prove at the next stage. So, with that being said, guys, I mean, this is fun, man. This is really fun. I mean, these two Euro prospects, um, Sungun's guy, I think he's just going to be the real deal. And uh, Josh Giddy, whatever end up, whatever organization he ends up with, uh, you know, with the Warriors, Spurs, um, you know, wherever he ends up, Sacramento, I think this kid's going to be a, a very good uh, basketball player at the next level, and um, I think that he's got the work ethic, and he's can already proven that he, he's already proven he can run the team uh, as a starter, but I think that he can also run the team uh, coming off the bench and running the second unit for a team as well, and this is good. I mean, Monty McNair's just going to have a lot of a lot of good options at nine, uh, assuming that we do uh, end up keeping the pick, and let me know your guys' thoughts about Josh Giddy. Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Please hit the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. And the next prospect I'm gonna talk about is somebody that he's been uh, really doing. He's been doing really well in these interviews. Um, he's spoken highly uh, of the Sacramento Kings and their two guards in De'Aaron Fox and Tyrese Halliburton. So uh, we'll talk about this next prospect in my next video. You know, you guys stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. You guys take care. Have a good rest of your Wednesday. God bless. Keep pushing forward, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.